All right. Hello. Um, I'm getting ready to make a, an AM PM sign. And right now all I'm doing, I've got some one by fours laying around. Um, I'm going to cut four of them because four of them will measure 14 inches across and I'll cut them 20 inches in the length so that I'll have a nice 14 by 20. So what you're gonna see me do um, in these next few steps, I've already cut this, but I'm making two of them. So I'm gonna cut another piece. But I just take my one by fours and I put them, um, lay them across the table, cut them 20 inches and then I'll run them through my planer uh, and then I'll assemble them in the carport with my staple gun. So right now we're just doing the, bu the building process. Um, once we do that, I'll go over the, the shelf that we need to cut out for the wine glasses and then just installing the hooks. Super fun, super easy. Once we do that, we'll go into the vinyl and painting and clear coating and all that good stuff. So here we go. Um, you see how the, these ends are nice and smooth because I just cut them and these are rough edges because this has been the end of the board and it's been weathered a little bit. I like to cut this off because when you're staining it, this doesn't take real easy to the stain like the, these ends do. So I'm just going to trim off this mess on the ends. I already have these marked, so um, that's a 10 by 10. Here's my 14 by 20 strip. So I'm just going to cut me two sets of those with using my original piece. All right, can y'all sleep? I don't know why I'm talking like that, just ignore me. All right, y'all, we're getting ready to cut our little shelf piece. Um, this is the little piece that's gonna go right here for the wine glasses to hang. Um, a little trick, I'll show y'all how I do it, or how I would recommend doing it. I wouldn't cut this piece first with the intentions of trimming out your slots because this piece gets weak and cracks. So if you cut these notches first, and then go back and trim your board, I think you'll have more success. And I am wasting a lot of wood, but this is a remnant piece and I really don't mind.
I want to change my blade because that's taken forever. No wonder it wasn't cutting good. Excuse me. Okay, so, so before I start assembly with the hooks and these little shelves, um, I'm going to figure out how, I'm going to go get my glasses so that I can space it out right. Um, I'm also going to go uh, cut the vinyl so I can place that on the board and figure out the best spot for where the shelf is going to go. So I'm going to take you inside and um, y'all can see my little desk and computer and the program and just all that good stuff and cut just cutting the vinyl and weeding it and getting it ready. So here we go. Now that you've seen me cut the vinyl and weed it, um, I'm fixing to apply it to the board. I wanted to show, like this, the paper, the vinyl that I'm using, this is Orcal 631, you can get it on Amazon. And the paper that I'm gonna use to transfer it with is just contact paper from Walmart. Um, it comes in a roll like this. I trimmed a little piece off of it, but I actually have it on my shirt. You just peel this piece off, and what you want to do is de-sticky it. I put it on my clothes six times. Um, I've already de-stickied this one quite a bit. Um, 
But once you get done using these, you can save them. You don't have to keep throwing them away. Uh, I'm also going, I don't know, because we just stained this, I don't know that my vinyl will stick to it because, you know, it's stain is oily. So I'm going to sand this down a little in hopes that it gives it something to stick to. Okay, before I clear coat this and add my hooks, I'm going to flip these over and add the sawtooth hangers to the back um, and then put my stamp on it. Alright, now I'm going to spray the lettering the white lettering that way when I go over it with a brush with the clear coat the paint doesn't smear I know that it's dry but sometimes the sealant especially polyacrylic polyacrylic it can um, reliquidize the paint and spread it across your board and you don't want that So all I really did here was sand that down with some fine grit paper and I'm just going to wash it off with a wet rag. If you were thinking through this whole video, is that backwards? Why is that backwards? She did that backwards. I did it backwards. <laughs> Whoops. So today we are gonna swap the shelf and the hooks and I'll show you how to fix a disaster.
Okay, there you have it. Hope y'all found that helpful. Um, we're gonna give this a few minutes to dry. 10, 15, 20 minutes, it'll be good to go. Also, if you found this video helpful or motivational in any way, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.